Hey, it's Cal Forever here, and I wanted to do a video about direction. Um, I think I'm gonna do it inside instead of it's it's nice outside. My the backyard's kind of cool, <laughs> but I'll stay right here. So like direction, you know, today I got like plans to go to a metaphysical store actually um, here in Omaha. It sounds like kind of a cool thing. So it's like I have a direction and like I feel so good. I feel, and it's a direction of purpose. You know, I've been staying at my parents the past few months or past month or whatever. For, for certain reasons, and my parents have been trying to get me to get a job in the meantime. I'm not going to be here for very much longer. So it's like I don't really feel like I need to get a job. And when it comes to like work, it's like, you know, I used to work at a golf course. I didn't have a sense of purpose that was fulfilling. So it's like that goes with direction in your life. If you don't have a, a purposeful direction... You're going to be stagnant like back then for me when I was working at the golf course, I drank for fulfillment at the end of the day. And it seems like that's kind of what a lot of my other friends were doing because they weren't doing what they loved doing. They were doing things they hated doing so they could do something or supposed things that they loved or that made them feel better like drink. So... Instead of getting a job, because I felt like it would have been hard, probably would have been hard for me to get a job because I was spinning in so many energies. So I just sat here for the most part and meditated and anchored in the light. So that was my direction. And so it's like, but I still needed to circulate my energy. So I would like go for drives or walks and things like that. Or go out in nature, like there's a lake down the street from here. And I would go to that lake and walk around it and collect like pine sap. And there's wild hemp that grows here. So I was eating some of the wild hemp. Like it's so good for you. You have to be careful what you pick out in nature though. Because uh, like there's a bunch that grows grows along. It's like, it looks like giant pot plants. It's growing alongside the road. <laughs> it's hemp though. It, the, you wouldn't want to pick those ones because all the cars and all the it'd be full of toxins, right? But the stuff around the lake was good. I'm sure they, they where I picked it, they wouldn't have sprayed stuff there. So, but anyways, <laughs> that was like kind of my direction in it, but it didn't feel like I had much of a direction. To me, my direction was to anchor in the light, and and it's kind of boring, even though like I'm sitting there in a state of bliss and peace. It seemed like I was more at peace, though, when I was experiencing some sort of anxiety or pain. Like, something to kind of give you that edge. It's not about just being anxiety-free. It's like, when you go up on stage, a little bit of anxiety gives you that edge to keep you focused. And so it's like, life's about balance. <laughs> but when you have a direction, in a direction that feels worthwhile, that feels successful, that feels purposeful, that feels fulfilling, when you feel that on a hard level, and, and I know what that is for me inside, it's just I'm waiting for the other alignments. So right now for me, it's about divine timing in a waiting game more than anything. I don't really like, I don't really like duality games of like battling, like football, like competitive sports, like games like that, or even like online multiplayer first-person shooter games. I didn't really find much. Uh, I used to play a lot of video games. I like this, I liked Assassin's Creed, like the story mode games. And Assassin's Creed is such a deep feeling because it's so historical. It's like it's like a history book. Almost almost more accurate than history books because <laughs> they say all the like secretive conspiracy stuff. Well, a lot of that's probably not true. <laughs> but, you know... You know, in your direction that's most successful for you, which for me was anchoring in the light, my parents didn't understand that. They're like, oh, you're lazy. You need to get a job. Do something. It's like, I am I am working. I am doing something. 
So it's like our body's working. So on, like, on a deep level, like I can feel my body changing on a very physical and physiological and energetic sense. And my body is changing on a deep cellular level. And it may be subtle, maybe like very subtle things, but it's very profound. It, like you can feel it, like it, it affects you. And so it's like, it makes it hard to do things like be a, be at work or things like that. Not like, not like that it would completely get in the way of me. It's just like putting my focus, taking care of my body because something so great is about to happen in my life, I feel like. And for a lot of us too that are, that are here to be of service that have been going through this deep transformation. So I, a direction and a purpose is about to come into my life, I feel like. For a lot of us. And so yeah, divine direction, following your heart and taking the leaps of your limit of what limits you from you taking the path in your life of of what you truly want to do. Cause I really I really believe like like what people truly want to do is what they need to do what people truly want to do. Not short term like, oh, but I really want to have a drink tonight. No, what do you truly want to do? That's what you need to do and that's your higher life purpose. What you truly are obsessed about. You know, people think obsession's bad, but what are what obsesses you the most? That's probably your higher life path. <laughs> Cal Forever here, thanks for listening. I'm going to do a deep ohm to like kind of close things. <laughs> oh.